Hey everybody, Mr. Sid is back with a new read aloud. Today I'd like to show you something really cool. Look at the giant ant that I have here. Ants actually never come in this size, at least not on this planet. But ants do have different sizes and colors. And some bite and some don't. This one I think illustrates um, the three body parts that I really wanted you to know. Um, we've talked about this before. All insects have three body parts. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And as you can see on this one here, the head very clear. It's missing its antennae because uh, I think somebody just ripped them off. But that's where the antennas go. Oh, where's mine? The antennas are for smelling, touching, and in some cases, for depending upon your insect, tasting. Then you have the thorax, dead center, right there. That's where all the legs are attached. And sometimes it's tricky. There are certain beetles, when you look down on the beetle and you see the legs sticking out from way down below, it seems like it's coming off its abdomen. In fact, when you flip that insect over, you'll see that the legs are all attached to the center body part called the thorax. And then the last body part is the abdomen. And this contains the majority of their internal organs. Unlike us, we have all of our internal organs uh, all in this one section here and the legs and arms come right off of it. I now have a book to read to you. This book is so cool. It's got a bit of a lenticular component. And those of you who know me well, I love lenticulars. It's called B and Me. And B and Me was written by Ellie McGinnis and illustrated by Heather Brown. And there's a lenticular right on the cover. Seeing if you might see the wing flapping up and down. I don't know if the camera can capture that. B and Me. Okay. Into the garden bumbled a bee. She zigzagged through flowers and blooms on our tree. She tumbled, she buzzed, she rolled and she fluttered, gathering powder that caught the color of butter. When all of a sudden my dog chased the bee who dashed toward my house, a safe place to flee. I'm not sure if you could see that moving. That's probably difficult on here. I ran for the window and shut it up fast, but the bee was already inside of the glass. Buzz, buzz the bee. Oh no, I yelled back, afraid that the bee might launch an attack. But just as I hid, I took one final peek and to my great surprise, the bee started to speak. Please help me, said B, as I peered through the crack. I'm in a big hurry, and I have to get back. My friends are all busy working hard at the hive. Remember that word? They wiggle, they woggle, they jiggle and jive. I'm not sure if you'll be able to capture that. That's when the bee's doing the dance to tell them where to go. We're good for much more than just honey, you see. We bees help the flowers, the bushes, and trees. We gather their pollen and spread it around. The only way to keep them growing, we've found. If it weren't for us bees, why the plants would be gone. No more peaches, no cherries, no trees to climb on. There'd be no more apples, no flowers to smell. Still, you humans decide you don't like us that well. Mm -hmm. Good point. And then from her eye came a big, shiny deer. We just want to help, but you all run in fear. But now that I've met you, I'm not scared anymore. I know lots about bees, way more than before. 
From now on, I'll be much nicer to you. I'll never again swat at bees with my shoe. Then I opened the window and she flew away. See you soon, said Bee, and she got on with her day. Oh, this one's great. The thing to remember when a bee comes on you is they're going to smell you with their feeler. They're checking to see if you are, in fact, a flower. And so very often I have accidentally been stung by a bee because I felt something crawling in my hair and I went like that to swat at it and it stung me. But had I seen that it actually was a bee, I would have just stood still. And this, so this is what I do now whenever one comes near. I just sit and this is an opportunity to watch them. It's a curious thing. They're not going to even sting you at all just because you're letting it crawl on you. You can just sit and watch and it's just going to move around on you. And this is a great opportunity to check out its body parts, notice all its beautiful intricacies. They're wondrous. Enjoy them. Don't kill them. That's all for today. I'm glad you enjoyed what you've read, or at least I hope you have. And I'll see you at our next Read Aloud. There's so much more to learn. Goodbye, you guys.